more than anybody in that group. Uh, I think Chris has really high goals. And, uh, and he showed that he wants to achieve those goals by how he's worked. And so that's, again, that's all I look at is what have you done, what have you done since the season's over with? Uh, I mean, one thing about Chris Wormley is that people don't realize he's an excellent student. I mean, he, he went to Israel with a group, and they, the people said he was an unbelievable uh, example of Michigan football. But he's always been an uh, unbelievable high character young man. He's, just, he, he's 305 pounds, I believe. He's running as good as a lot of linebackers. Uh, you know, so he's really put himself in a position to have a great senior. Talk about Chase, just kind of how he's moving around and you know, where he's at right now. And how you... Who's that? Chase. Oh, yeah. Chase was a young man we recruited, and I, I remember when we recruited him that uh, uh, this guy's a very talented defensive player. Well, Coach Harbaugh, he's always going to do what's best for the team. He moved him to tight end and gave him an opportunity to get on the field earlier as a tight end. And, uh, you know, we found that we had enough tight ends, and, and he moved him back to defense right before the bowl game. Um, I was going to put him in. He had done such a good job in bowl practice that I was going to get him in that game at the end, but the offense kept the ball. And uh, then this spring, it was the first time he really was a open side end, and it was all a new learning process for him, and he had a very, very good spring. He's gained probably 10 or 10 pounds this summer of strength, worked extremely hard. So, uh, you know, I, I think there's a... Very high bar for him. You see him maybe getting another rotation this year? Well, that's he's competing for sure. He's competing with, uh, you know, with Taco uh, at the open end position. What's it like to have that embarrassment of riches at the nose tackle position? I mean, you get a couple guys there. How do you sort that out? Two guys that are going to both play, right? Well, yeah, I, like I mentioned before we sat down here, is that there's a starting first string and there's a second first string. It doesn't matter if the first guy plays four plays and you come in for the next four. You both are playing. You're playing right now, and uh, that 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 thing is earned throughout practice and the way you played the game before. And you're trying to earn the right to help this be a really good defense by having fresh guys going as hard as they can. Now, on the other end, and they're 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 told this is that's not fair if you're only playing four plays, and in one of those four plays, you don't go as hard as you can go. That, that's not part of the contract, and uh, they all understand that. And, and they, they trust the fact that, hey, if I do go as hard as I can, coach is going to get somebody in for me to be able to go really hard the next play, too. And uh, and that's something we've built on over the last two or three years, and, and uh, the, the young men are, are excited about it. What's Rashawn Gary like personality-wise? He's a very humble, very, um, very confident, but very, really wants to prove or be really good. I mean, he really has high expectations for his level of play. And, uh, and to the point where, I mean, he's been with some of our older kids learning the playbook already. You know, he wants to do anything he can to be as good as what a lot of people say he is. And uh, so that's good coming in. Does he require kind of an extra bit of attention as far as preparing him for the hype that's surrounding him and just on campus the, the, the attention he's going to get? Well, I, I don't know if, if, if anybody's had to do anything with him on that. Our defensive line and our team has. You know, he he has blended in so well. Sometimes when guys are really, really, you know, publicized and everything like that, you know, some guys are kind of checked to see how he is. The day he got here, he went right in with our defensive line, listened to the veterans on what we're doing, did it that way, has been on time for everything, has been very accountable, which you know, that, that shows a, a young man, a very young man that's mature. Nate's shown himself so far in his defense yet? Has he carved out a niche for himself in his defense? No, nobody has. That And that's the thing. I mean, you've got a lot of guys that have played a lot of football, but they understand nobody has a job. They're earning that job every day of practice. And Taco come back in the kind of shape that you hoped he would? Yeah. Okay. yeah that, I, 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 when I got back uh, from our, our break and I got a chance to see the guys just happen to see a bunch of them. I was very impressed at how they looked. You know, 
I, they did. Uh, they looked like a group, a team that had really trained. You know, and uh, you know sometimes you come back or you, you have a you know, where you're looking. You go, oh, he doesn't look as good as every one of them looked like they were had really, really trained, and uh, I was excited about that. Sorry if you've already been asked about Chris Wormley 